sorry we're starting late, but you know, more, more things to discuss than we thought of. So good evening and welcome to the Chapel Central School District Board of Education meeting for Wednesday, July 10th, 2019. Um, we're having what we did executive session assessing safety and uh, contract contracts since seven o'clock. Real estate. Real estate. Real estate. Um, so I have a motion to bring us back into public session. I move that we go back to the public session. So I have a second. I'll second. Any discussion in favor? Aye. Uh, we please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. To the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So, this is our reorganization meeting where we reorganize uh, the district, the board, and then, um, I guess that's it. Um, it's the first part of the meeting is very pro forma, very scripted. We're not, we're not scripted, but this is scripted. So, um, I guess the first thing we have to do is have Lisa administer the oath of office to uh, new board members who have been reelected or elected. And, and the superintendent. All right, you ready? Yes. All of us at the same time? All right. Aye. Christine Ackerman, Lord, no, sir. Hillary Bassett, do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. Do solemnly swear, swear that, that I will support the Constitution, the Constitution of the United States, States. States. and the Constitution of the State of New York, and, and the Constitution, Constitution of the State of New York. York, and that I will faithfully discharge the duties of the office of, and, and that I will faithfully discharge the duties of the office of, of school board member, school board member, superintendent of the Chappaqua Central School District according to the best of my ability. Of the, the Chappaqua Central, Central School District, District according to the best, best of my abilities. Thank you. Welcome, Lori. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, what else do we have here? I think we really want to make a statement before we get this here. We could do that first. Um, I guess my only statement is that I'm really excited and feel very privileged to be a part of the Board of Education and the school district. Well, welcome to our community here also. Thank you. We're very happy to have you. Um, I guess next is the question. So uh, I move that Jane General Shepherdson be elected president of the Board of Education of the Chapel Central School District for the school year 2019-2020. I second the motion. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Congratulations. Thank you. I move that Holly McCall be appointed to serve as Vice President of the Board of Education of Chapel Central School School for the school year 2019-2020. She shall have the power to exercise the duties of the President in case of the absence or disability of the President. In the absence of both the president and vice president, or Messner is authorized to act in the capacity of president. I second the motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Congratulations, Helen. Okay. Okay. Now, now we can do a little bit of a reshuffle. Wait, we have to reshuffle and all. We're reshuffling. Okay. Sorry. All right. Ready? Can you just Aye. 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 Jane Kimball Shepherdson. Do you solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States? Do you solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States? And the Constitution of the State of New York? And the Constitution of the State of New York? And that I will faithfully discharge the duties of the office of? And that I will faithfully discharge the duties of the office of Board President? Board Vice President? Of the Chappaqua Central, Central School District? According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. Excellent. Okay, now I get to make a motion. May I make a motion for the school district clerk? I move that Lisa Elsner be appointed school district clerk of the Chappaqua Central School District for the school year 2019-2020. Second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Motion carries. Okay, so that will be against the stand. Raise your hand. 
I, Lisa Elkner, do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of New York, and that I will faithfully discharge the duties of the office of School District Clerk of the Chappaqua Central School District according to the best of my ability. Yay! Congratulations, Lisa. All right, Lisa. And thank you're you. stuck with us for another year. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you very, very much. Okay. okay. Next, may I have a motion for school district treasurer? Oh, I move that Blanche Blair be appointed school district treasurer of Chappaqua Central School District for the school year 2019-2020. I second. All in favor say aye. 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 Okay, motion carries. May I have a motion for the school district deputy treasurer? I move that John Chow be appointed school district deputy treasurer of the Chappaqua Central School District for the school year 2019-2020. I'll second that. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. May I have a motion for central treasurer for the extracurricular activity fund? I move that Blanche Blair be appointed central treasurer extracurricular activity fund for the Chappaqua, of the Chappaqua Central School District for the school year 2019-2020. I second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. May I have a motion for attendance officers? I move that building administrators or their designees shall be appointed attendance officers for the 2019-2020 school year. I second. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Motion carries. May I have a motion to appoint the community members to the audit committee? I move that Chris Dalrymple, Dean Brock, and Alan Rosen be appointed to serve on the audit committee for the 2019-2020 school year. I second. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Okay. May I have a motion for claims auditor? I move that Christopher H. Weir shall be appointed claims auditor for the 2019-2020 school year. I second. Opposed? Motion, everyone say aye. Aye. Motion carries. May I have a motion for the chief emergency officer and co-chief emergency officer? I move that Joe Grimando be appointed chief emergency officer and John Chow be appointed co-chief emergency officer for the 2019-2020 school year. I second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. May I have a motion for 504 Title II ADA Compliance Officer, Student Disability Discrimination Compliance Coordinator? I move that Tony Sinanis be appointed Section 504 Title II ADA Compliance Officer and Student Disability Discrimination Compliance Coordinator for the 2019-2020 school year. I second. All in favor, say aye. 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 May I have a motion to appoint members to the Committee on Special Education and Preschool Special Education? I move that the individuals listed on the attached memo from Heidi McCarthy be appointed to the Committees on Special Education and Preschool Special Education for the 2019-2020 school year. I second the motion. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Motion carries. May I have a motion to appoint homeless liaisons? I move that Lisa Bissettia and Heidi McCarthy be appointed homeless liaisons for the Jack Plus Central School District for the 2019-2020 school year. Second. All in favor, say aye. 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 May I have a motion to appoint the rotational list of impartial hearing officers as determined by the New York State Department of Education? I move that the rotational list of impartial hearing officers as determined by New York State Department of Education be appointed for the 2019-2020 school year. The list shall also include the names of other certified impartial hearing officers requesting to serve in the district. Impartial hearing officers shall be selected, appointed, and compensated in accordance with policy 3030. I second. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. May I have a motion for Medicaid Compliance Officer? I move that Tony Sinanis be appointed Medicaid Compliance Officer for the 2019-2020 school year. I second. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. May I have a motion for Internal Auditor? I move that Tobin and Company be appointed Internal Auditor for the school year 2019-2020. I second. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. May I have a motion for Payroll Certification Officers? I move that John Chow and Tony Sinanis be appointed Payroll Certification Officers at the Chappaqua Central School District for the school year 2019-2020. Second. All in favor, say aye. Aye. May I have a motion for Property Control Manager? I move that Michael Turnip be appointed Property Control Manager at Chappaqua Central School District for the school year 2019-2020. I second. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. May I have a motion for Purchasing Agent and Alternate Purchasing Agent? 
I move that Michael Trinick be appointed purchasing agent and John Chow be appointed alternate purchasing agent for the 2019-2020 school year. Can I second? All in favor, say aye. 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 I have a motion for records management and access officer. I move that John Chow be appointed records management and access officer of Jack West Central School District for the school year 2019-2020. I second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 I have a motion for appointment of school district attorney. I move that the firm of Shaw, Carlson, May, and Lambert, LLP be appointed school district attorney of Jack West Central School District for the school year 2019-2020. Second. All in favor, say aye. 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 May I have a motion for the appointment of school district independent auditor? I move the firm of PFF of Connor Davies, LLP be appointed as school district independent auditor of Jack West Central School District for the school year 2019-2020. I second. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. May I have a motion for surrogate parent as required by CSC CPSC guidelines? I move that Amy Ansel be appointed as surrogate parent of the Jack West Central School District for the school year 2019-2020. I second. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. May I have a motion for Title IX compliance officers? I move that Tony Sinanis, Jamie Edelman, Andrew Priscilla, Ronald Fiala, Adam Schoenbart, and Norman Stewart be appointed Title IX, Title VII, and Title VI compliance officers for the 2019-2020 school year. Did you say? Oh, that's okay. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. May I have a motion for Title VII and Title VI compliance officers? I move that Tony Sinanis and Jamie Edelman be appointed Title VII and Title VI compliance officers for the 2019-2020 school year. Second. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. May I have a motion for DASA coordinators? I move that Tony Sinanis, Jamie Edelman, Andrew Priscilla, Ronald Gamma, Adam Schoenbart, Norman Stewart, Martin Fitzgerald, Tim Doyle, Joe Mazza, Joseph Mazza, Nicole Mangieri, Carol Bartlett, Deborah Ausback, Doreen O'Leary, Ross Cooper, James Skoog, and Elisa Stover be appointed DASA coordinators for the 2019-2020 school year. I second. All in favor, say aye. Aye. May I have a motion for depositories? I move that Bank of New York, J.P. Morgan Chase, Bank of America, TD Bank, Commerce Bank, M&T Bank, TD Bank North, Webster Bank, Signature Bank, People's United Bank, and NYLAF be designated as depositories for the funds of the Chapman Central School District for the school year 2019-2020 beginning July 1, 2019 and ending June 30, 2020. I second. All in favor, say aye. Aye. May I have a motion for investments? I move that Blanche Blair Treasurer and John Chow, Deputy Treasurer, be authorized to take appropriate action in the investment of school district funds during the 2019-2020 school year. I second. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. May I have a motion for newspapers? I move that for the purpose of advertising bids and other legal notices during the school year 2019-2020, the Journal News as the newspaper of record, the Examiner, or the New York Times be designated. Second. All in favor, say aye. Aye. May I have a motion for petty cash? I move that petty cash accounts in accordance with policy be approved for the school year as follows. Petty cash for the Superintendent's Office, Douglas G. Graff Elementary School, Warren Brook Elementary School, West Orchard Elementary School, Park Street High School, Robert E. Dell Middle School, Seven Bridges Middle School, all be had. We'll have $100 in petty cash. I second. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. May I have a motion for Treasurer's Bond? I move that the Treasurer's Bond in the amount of $100,000 as executed by NYSER be approved as performing sufficiency for the school year 2019-2020. Second. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Okay. I think we've got to go back. So if you go on page 7, we did, if you go to Title IX and Title VII. Yes. And VI. Yes. Can we go back to, we did a motion for Title IX compliance officers. Yes. And we approved all those people as Title IX compliance officers. Okay. In that motion. 
but we also approved all those people. Oh, because it's listed. It's title seven, seven and title yes, six. Because it was listed in there. Right. So okay. So do I need to amend that? So let me just. Um, I'd like to approve all those people as title nine and title six. We kind of have like a. We have to. We have to kind of. So either we can redo it on the next agenda, or we can fix it right now. But the motion would probably be: may have a motion for Title IX, Title Seven, and Title Six compliance officers, and then we would read that again as written. Okay, so we did not need to break it up the way yeah. that we did. Okay. Because I, I just want to. I mean, even though everyone has been approved, we did the motion wasn't correct. So please. And, and, and I would like to ask a question about that. Are each of those people Trans Title IX, Title VII, and Title VI, each of them have those three appointments? Yes, they should all have those appointments because of the investigatory level of the high school. And Perfect. therefore, why would we need um, the next appointment of Tony and Jane? That's what I'm saying. Like, this should be convinced. That was a question that I had okay. when I sent that email because there was some Okay. So if we could just oh, so you do you have a motion to um, do we combine paragraphs X and Y? So yes, and the way to do that is may I have a motion to or um, James is going to motion. Right, title so the it would be right. may I have a motion title nine, seven, and six compliance officers. Well, and then we would read Holly's um, Right, do we have to amend or change what yeah. we or we have, do what we, we did? We have to change what we have to withdraw. withdraw. I move that we withdraw Title IX compliance officers and Title VII and VI compliance officers. I second. All in favor? Aye. Right. Um, can I have a motion then um, to move Title IX and Title VII and time Title VI compliance officers? Aye. So, uh, I move that Tony Sinanis, Jamie Allen, Andrew Porcelia, Ronald Gamma, Adam Schellenbart, and Laura Lynn Stewart be appointed Title IX, Title VII, and Title VI compliance officers for the 2019-2020 school year. I second. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Okay, now we're fast. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, sure. no, thank you for the clarification. No, that's, that's very helpful. So, um, Okay, President's Report. Um, I would just like to start off by thanking Warren for a very successful term as President of the Board. Thank you very much, and thanks for all of your anticipated help during the next year. Um, I wanted to um, thank Holly for serving as Vice President. I'm very excited to serve as your President this year, and um, I'm looking forward to a very successful year together. And I really also just wanted to welcome Hillary to the Board. Um, we were all together at a retreat and uh, Hillary has jumped right in and I know that she will be a, a huge, a huge um, benefit to this board, so thank you. Um, the only thing that I wanted to say is that um, we all just returned from a retreat where the administrators and the board, um, we toured the nerve lab and garage at the Microsoft offices in Boston and we're also fortunate enough to visit the MIT Teaching Systems Lab. We participated in workshops on design thinking and learning analytics. And in addition, in addition to just the time spent together where some new members of the administration and board staff could get to know each other, uh, it was really terrific to engage in some um, very interesting and very validating uh, lessons in terms of seeing how our current focus on strategic planning and learning spaces and what we're doing to prepare all of our students for 21st century workplaces is, is really the right direction to go in. Um, we were all able to engage in certain exercises that were very informative and innovative and entertaining and I think you got everyone very excited about the new learning spaces that we have in all of our schools and what we're going to be able to accomplish in all of them. So it was just a really good window into some cutting edge technology and innovation and how we can really continue to work to bring all of that into our classroom. So I just really wanted to thank Christine and Adam and Tony and John and Josh for setting up um, the meeting, especially with Microsoft, and for organizing all of that and for including all of us as board members so we can see the great work that you're doing. So, thank you, Jane. We appreciate it. Um, so, that's all that I want to say today. Um, item 
4.1.1 are the 2019-2020 Board Committee and the liaison assignments. Um, these are um, the assignments for all of our board members and who will be on various committees from Audit Committee, Communications, uh, Green Committee, Facilities Committee, um, Coalition for Youth, and then liaison positions for our Early Scholarship Fund, um, Chapman School Foundation, PTA liaison, sports boosters, etc. Um, that list will be up on our website, so it will show what all of us will be working on this year. Um, and I would like the motion um, 4.114 to approve the 2019-2020 board committee and liaison assignments. I will move item 4.11. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Discussion. Uh, discussion. Yes, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> I think these committee assignments are great. I'm glad that everyone is have committees that they're going to be working on because I think we all take interest in the committees that we uh, are assigned. So, I agree. Okay. Um, and that's it. Uh, we have to vote. Oh, did you vote? Oh, did not vote? I thought it was, uh, Yes, no, I'm sorry. Um, all in favor of the um, board committee assignments and the eight assignments, please say aye. 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 Okay. Motion passed. And now I can hand Dr. Christine for the superintendent's report. So I just have a few items I want to um, talk about briefly. This is the first, which I know is important to the community if they're watching. Um, our calendar should be ready within the next week of all our events. So by, the, by uh, next Wednesday, we should have that online uh, for our community to view of all of our important dates. Um, I wanted to share that uh, we're in the process of hiring a lot of new staff. It's really exciting. Um, we have some staff on the agenda for you tonight. I'm really impressed with this lady candidate that uh, the team has brought for me to recommend to you for appointment. A lot of experience, a lot of new ideas. I think they'll fit in nicely with the direction that our district is going in. So um, I, I would thank Tony tonight for being able to make the meeting. But the, Tony leads a process uh, with our administrative team that's highly rigorous for anyone that comes on board. So I'm really happy to present our candidates to you. And I know we'll have more at the August meeting. Um, we, uh, John and I met with the, uh, the construction team today. And I just wanted to update you on a few uh, different items. So tomorrow, Seven Bridges should be given its certificate of occupancy. And we have training that will be starting in there uh, next week for our high school and our middle school staff. Uh, L building, upper L building will be open for September, and so will the library. Um, while the, the construction team indicates they believe Bell will be open, we're not as optimistic about that opening at the start of the school year, maybe more towards mid-November. And um, conservatively, I would project that the steam building would probably be open for the second semester. I just want to be uh, realistic based on our experience today. Do you agree with that? Yeah. Um, I just wanted to share with you two communications from the town. So we have sent a letter um, that was co-drafted by Warren and I that also includes some commentary from our attorney opposing uh, or asking um, more, more appropriately saying, asking them for an exemption from the leaf blower legislation because we anticipate incurring costs and um, an impact in our youth programs if we have to change our practices with regards to leaf removal um, based on the legislation that they're, the regulations that they're considering. So I know they have a hearing for next week and they said they would submit our documents into their records. So I hope they um, consider that seriously. I've also uh, received correspondence from the town about the chat line, so I'll be reviewing that correspondence with the attorney and, and um, crafting a position from the district for their, uh, um, for their review uh, more procedurally in, in, in terms of what we need to be thinking about on our end as they are thinking about possibly moving in that direction as a community because it involves our land, so that's complicated for us. So um, I'll keep you posted. Um, and at the August meeting, I'll share with you the most more correspondence that I wrote um, with the larger community regarding uh, that potential project that the town is um, considering. Um, I wanted to also just thank Adam and John and Tony for helping uh, facilitate the administrative retreat. And I want to thank the board for attending. I think it's really important that we have these shared experiences together. And I know the administration, on behalf of the administration, we're grateful that we have a Board of Education that's so invested in, in their own professional learning around the work that we do with our students every day. So I wanted to thank you on behalf of all of us for attending. Um, 
Um, and so that is my superintendent's report. Okay. We are very happy to Oh, my gosh, I forgot one more piece. Sorry, yes, go ahead. My last piece is um, I wanted to share with you that the safety survey has been analyzed. So um, we're going to have a, a special meeting. I'm trying to set this up right now with the consultants. July 24th at 1 p.m. We're all by the um, safety task force that's been working uh, with me to hear the results. And then at the August uh, meeting, we're still on target where I'll be presenting with you the recommendations, but I'd like you to hear from the uh, the survey analyst, the results firsthand alongside with the uh, safety, the safety team. So we'll put that out publicly in case any members of the community would like to sit and listen as well. Okay. Okay. Yes. Thank you. That sounds terrific. Okay. Next, we would move on to public comments. It's a quiet room tonight. Um, <laughs> we usually ask that comments be limited to three minutes, but um, it looks like we will not be having public comment tonight, so I think we can move on to approvals and ratifications. Um, so I will move on to item 5.1, um, seeking approval of our minutes from our June 25th, 2019 meeting. Can I have a motion to uh, approve item 5.1? I move item 5.1. I will second 5.1. Any discussion? All in favor? Uh, um, I recommend 6.1 instructional as amended. I move that we accept the recommendation of the superintendent. I'll second that. <coughs> Any discussion from anyone? All in favor say aye. 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 I recommend 6.2 non instructional as amended. I move oh, no, I'm sorry, that's not amended. As presented. I move on um, <coughs> item 6. Two non instructional. Okay. Uh, any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Item 7.1. Uh, these are our new organization appointments, which we already did. So we can move over 7.1. On to um, items I'd like to take. Item so we just got to hold on for a second. I just want to make sure that it's okay. Okay. All right. Now we can take a quick break. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Um, I'd like to take items 8.1 and 8.2 together. CSE summaries for the 2018-2019 school year. And CSE summaries for the 2019-2020 school year. Um, do I have a motion to approve 8.1 and 8.2? So moved. Second. Second. Uh, any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, item 8.3. Um, this is a uh, resolution in accordance with policy 9040. Based on the recommendation of the superintendent of schools, um, that uh, involves the, a monthly car allowance for all employees in the district who are required to travel regularly among the buildings of the school district and that they shall be entitled to a monthly car allowance of $200 for the 2019-2020 school year as set forth in item 8.3. Do I have a motion to approve item 8.3? So moved. I second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Item 8.4, um, this is a motion to allow the assistant principal in each building to be appointed acting principal in, in the event that the principal is not physically present in the building um, for purposes of short-term student discipline matters pursuant to section 3214 of the New York State Education Law. So this will set forth that in the event that all of our principals cannot be in the building, that the assistant principal in each building will be allowed to step in and be acting principal in that event. Do I have a motion to approve 8.4? Uh, I move 8.4. <coughs> Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. I just have a question. Um, does our approval require that we actually name the principals? The assistant principals and Principles for which they are uh, would be re replacing in the events stated here. I think you can um, recommend 8.4 as presented. Okay. Okay. Um, 
All in favor, say aye. 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 8.5, Supplemental Defense and Indemnification Resolution for the 2019-2020 school year. Uh, whereas Section 18 of the Public Officers Law of the State of New York authorizes municipal corporations, including boards of education, to adopt supplemental defense and indemnification provisions to those contained in the education law. This statute authorizes the Board of Education to defend, indemnify, and save harmless members of the Board of the Education and officers, agents, and employees of the boards and parent volunteers in connection with any claims asserted or judgments obtained against such board members, officers, agents, or employees in any state or federal court, or in the amount of any settlement of such claim, provided that the act or omission from which the judgment or claim arose while the board member, officer, agent, or employee was acting within the scope of his or her office of employment. So um, I, this will be, we're moving that this be resolved that the Board of Education and the Child Wild Central School District adopts this supplemental defense and indemnification provision contained in Section 18 of the Public Officers Law, law excuse me, and this coverage shall supplement and be in addition to the coverage available for such employees under other enactments, including those limited to the education law of the state of New York. I have a motion for I will move 8.5. Second, All in favor? Any discussion? Sorry. All in favor. <laughs> okay. Um, I have a motion for item 8.6 whereby the Board of Education approves a retainer for, this is for accounting services with P. K. F. O'Connor Davis LLP, effective July 1st, 2019, for the 2019-2020 school year, and it authorizes the Board President to execute the agreement. I move 8.6, thank you. I second. Any discussion? Yes, um, we, we managed both the uh, Connor Davies and another firm, and they were both wonderful firms. They both had a lot to offer our district. However, um, we decided to go and we decided to move to the Connor Davies and thank them for continuing to work with us and presenting a great uh, document. Well, we went through our acting process. We went through the entire acting process. Yes, we did. And I think everyone was very happy with the resolution. So. Um, and I want to thank all the administrators for organizing the RFP process, making it um, very streamlined for us. Thank you. Uh, all in favor of item 8.6? Item 8.6. Item 8.7. Item be it resolved that the Board of Education approves the extension of transportation contract with Chappaqua Transportation for September 1st, 2019 to June 26, 2020, and authorizes the Board to execute said agreement. And I have a motion for 8.7. I move 8.7. I'll second 8.7. Any discussion? I just want to thank um, the Corwins and all of the bus drivers of the Chappaqua Transportation Company. I think that, you know, we always try to go through the RFP process. You know, we think of going with the lowest bidders, but I, I think that what's important for the bus company is that the bus drivers really care about the kids, and they really um, <laughs> put the kids first. I, um, I'll never forget during Superstorm Sandy, some of them really just stayed with the kids on the buses um, for many hours into the evening until their parents could come. So I, I appreciate um, the priority that they put in, in caring for our kids. And it's a real family business. I know that we lost John, John Ford and Sam, which was very upset. But the family has been really terrific and they're very dedicated to the school district. And we really very much appreciate their service. Um, can I have a motion to approve? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm sorry, can I have a vote on um, 8.7 on Super Sarah? Aye. Item 8.8, be it resolved that the board approves an agreement with the State University of New York at Purchase College for the use of facilities for the estimated amount of $27,050 for the 2019-2020 school year and authorizes the board to execute this agreement. I believe it's for the board, right? Mm -hmm. um, do I have a motion to move 8.8? I'll move 8.8. A second? Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. 8.9, be resolved that the Board of Education approves an agreement with Westchester Community Opportunity Program to renew the current contract for the 2019-2020 year for the Head Start Program at Douglas Graffin Elementary School 
for a total of 52,414 and authorizes the board to execute this agreement. I have a motion for 8.9. I move 8.9. Any discussion? No, it's a great program, and I'm really happy we can do this. Um, I'd ask them to go ahead. Yeah, no, that's great. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Okay. Aye. Um, I'd like to take 8.10 and 8.11 together. Um, these are, it's approving us getting money back. Um, so, um, this is. Oh, is it the Yes. Um, they approve change orders, you know, 8.10, the amount of um, $200,000 coming back to us in, in connection with construction, really, and 8.11 involves um, a change order with an amount of 86612 coming back to us in connection with construction at Bell, um, pursuant to change orders. So, um, I have a motion for 8.10 and 8.11. I move 8.10 and 8.11. Any discussion? All in favor? Uh, <coughs> 8.12, um, this is a uh, resolution uh, for agreement for services with Dr. Robert Dillon, co-author of The Space, a guide for educators for professional development and instructional space consultation for the 2019-2020 school year in the amount of $3,500 per day and an amount not to exceed $17,500. And it authorizes the board to execute. Um, I will move 8.12. I will second. Any discussion? Um, I just want to, want to take this opportunity to say that the professional development in this district is absolutely superb. And, um, you know, going back to what we were discussing about the retreat, um, I would echo what, what Shane said. Um, and uh, I, just, I just want to thank you all for doing all this work. I think it's important to know all of the hard work that our educators do outside of the classroom. Um, during the vacation time, during the summer, and after school hours, to keep our district in tip-top shape, curriculum-wise and otherwise. So, so thank you for all of the outside-of-the-box thinking and all the, the, the very relevant learning that our, that our staff has available to us. And I, I just wanted to add that I think that you won't go the extra mile. Um, you provide us with this book to really look at um, how the spaces shape our education. Uh, for the education for our children, um, but you don't just give us a book to read, you, you bring in the people and you have discussions around it so that um, everyone really understands the goals that we're moving towards and all the possibilities with these spaces. So I really think that you spend the extra time to really help us understand how we can best impart all this knowledge on the teachers, on the students, and, and on the Board of Education. It's been very helpful for us. So thank you so much. And interesting. Um, so, uh, can we vote uh, all in favor on 8.12? Correct. Aye. 8.13. Um, this is a proposed agreement from KG&D Architects, PC, for construction oversight services related to the district-wide security projects, and this is an amount not to exceed $21,375. And it authorizes the board president to execute this agreement. And I have a motion for 8.13. I move eight for second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. I just want to share with you that work is already within a draft with the bell. So <coughs> parents will be noticing that as they begin to get to school. Okay. Um, 8.14. Um, this is a refunding bond resolution of the Chappaqua Central School District. Authorizing the refunding of all or a portion of certain outstanding refunding serial bonds of said district, stating the plan of refunding, appropriating an amount not to exceed $24,605,000, therefore, authorizing the issuance of not to exceed $24,605,000, uh, refunding serial bonds of the district to finance said appropriation and making certain other determinations all relative thereto. And this is basically refunding of all a portion of our outstanding refunding bonds issued in 2010. Um, I'd like to move, and I know John can explain this a little further, so can I have a, a motion for um, 8.14? I move 8.14. I second. Um, discussion. John, I think sure. it would be very helpful just to sort of summarize what 8.4 is and what it means to all of us. Let me pass it down. Thank you. So, th 
this, this is a page from the, the 2017-18 budget book. And the reason I used that year is because that was the last year that we only, you know, on, on, on the uh, bond listing, we only have one bond. Okay. Subsequent to that, we, we commingled the $42.5 million bond with it. So I don't want to talk about the $42.5 million because that has something to do with this. Okay. This is the refinancing of the... Of the single it, bond. Yes, the $56.8 million uh, bond that we borrowed in 2002. For so construction of seven bridges, Greeley, uh, Bell, and Rodenbrook. I don't want to stress, it's not just seven bridges. Right. It's for the four schools. And at that time, we borrowed 56.8. So if you look at this sheet, you will see that uh, on the left-hand side, the principal amount remaining was $30,260,000. But after that, we have paid off the principal for 1718 and also 1819. So what is remaining is slightly over the uh, what this proposition, uh, this resolution is asking for $24,605,000 left. So we are trying to refinance that piece because right now we have an opportunity because it has been after eight years of the, our refinancing and the interest rates are lower oh, now. Okay. And so I think when we present the uh, uh, budget in March, when we talk about the debt service, I was talking about we will refinance it this fall because we have an opportunity. At the time, uh, we were looking at the possibility, possibility of saving about $1.1 $1 .1 million. Um, so the refinance, you, you estimate, will save somewhere in that vicinity? Actually, right now, we got another proposal, uh, actually, because the rates has been coming down a little bit. And if, it is, if we really, really lucked out, we can save up to $2.1 million. So I think at the end, between $1.1 million and two point one. And if you look at the, 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 still the sheet, if you look at the first bullet, uh, you will see on November 10, 2010, we refinanced the original bond. Mm -hmm. And at that time, we settled the rate at 2.9722% for 20 years. Right. And uh, uh, at that time, I don't know whether you recall, we, we actually were able to save, save $6 million. So right now, we are going to refinance again. Let's assume it's $1.1 million, so altogether we'll be saving $7.1 throughout the life of this bond. Right. So, just for refinancing, mm -hmm. right? And John, we're not sure because we're going out for an RFP. Right. So or we're going out for best, RFP. To get the best to, rate. We're going out for RFP to, to get an underwriter. And then the underwriter will try to sell it and price it. That's why right now we don't know. And then if this is probably the bar is actually going to happen in September. And what will determine the new bond uh, be, John? Determine for the rate. The, the, the term of the new bond? The, the, the terms is, we're not going to change the terms. This will still be true at 29th. Okay. And then also one thing that I stress that when we when we price it and we structure the borrowing, we also have to have a step down between 23 and 24. Because if you look at this, there's a step down of 1.7 million dollars. You see the principal amount that we pay, and that's important because when we when we marketed the bond, uh, the 42.5 million dollars we anticipate during this year we have a step down. Right. So basically, and therefore there's a increase to the tax levy. So basically we're refinancing but we're not extending the lease. Yes. Extending the right. No we're not. Okay. Sorry. And we and we'll have some savings. Okay. And not, not a lease to, I'm sorry. Uh, no the, go ahead. The bond now. I said a lease it's not a lease, it's a it's a kind of serial bond. Serial bond. And I just wanted to mention as it states in here that the copy of well, this bond resolution that summarizes everything above. Um, in here will be um, available for public inspection during normal business hours at the office of the district clerk at 66 Warren Road. If people can come and inspect it from you, John. Also, so, we need to have the house. Okay. So we're going to place this in the newspaper. Okay. Any other questions, comments? All in favor of item 8.14? Aye. 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 Okay, 8.15. This is um, approval of the Master Services Agreement with Firewalker Consulting for Speaker Services at professional de and Professional Development during the school year 2019-2020 in the amount of $3,000. Um, can I have a motion for 8.15? I would be 8.15. Any second? Any 
discussion? All in favor? Aye. 8.16, be resolved that the Board of Ed appoints Joseph Romanto as the district's asbestos management plan designee to be certified in compliance with the federal requirements for asbestos management in schools for the 2019-2020 school year. I will move 8.16. I have a second. Oh, I'll second that. Any discussion? All in favor of 8.16? Aye. Aye. 8.17, be resolved that the Board of Education approves the addendum regarding confidentiality of personally identifiable data of students and staff to the NWEA agreement for services, which was approved at its June 25, 2019 meeting and authorizes the Board President to execute this agreement. I will move item 8.17. I'll second. Discussion? I'm just, can you, what is that abbreviation again? That is the NWEA is the benchmark assessment system that will be rolling out next year for certain grade levels of students that have been identified as potentially needing RTI services. And what the computerized system allows us to do is offer a third party assessment in that the ELA process that will be administered three times during the school year. So New York State has regulations that require us to screen our kids over the course of the school year. Right, and this is just confidentiality. This is making sure that the software company complies with the new regulations regarding confidentiality. It stands for the Northwest Evaluation Association. Just to clarify, there were new regulations requiring this. Well, they continue to evolve, so they're just a whole bunch of new ones that were accepted by New York State. And so there's other vendors that have to revise their practices. And so this is one of those vendors that needed to make some revisions. We'll go to another one. Great, thank you. Right now, I'm just going to turn it over to Chris. Yeah, it's really about the privacy of student data that they have. The assessments are always assessments or online assessments, and the database that houses that student data has to comply with state regulations. So they have to change their contractual language, and we have to approve their addendums. And their legal team and our legal team and the state's legal requirements all have to align. And so we do that. So now we've got their legal team, our legal team, and alignments of state requirements all taken care of with this approval that's been done. Okay. So this is the first of others, and we may see others. Potentially, yeah. Well, if the language states that they will comply with state regulations as may be amended from time to time, then we wouldn't have to. I think that probably over the next few months there might be additional resolutions that are like this based on the new regulations that have just come out for us to make sure that our Well, I think the first part is I'm just going to start to be absolutely clear. Yep. All of these contracts are reviewed by David Shaw to make sure that we're in compliance, too. Just glad to know that there isn't an issue we identified. We haven't even begun using them yet. Yeah. 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 Okay. Thank you. Okay. So can I all in favor of 8.17? Aye. 8.18, be resolved that the Board of Education approves the contract with B2M Solutions for the development of an SEL, Special Emotional Learning website for district staff in the amount of $39,105 and authorizes the superintendent to execute this contract. I'll move 8.18. Second. Any discussion? Is this related to the RULER program? So this is, so we have a fellowship that's been working on organizing Special Emotional Learning in our district, K-12. That's one of our target areas for our strategic plan. One of the outcomes of our work together is that they felt that the information was overwhelming for staff. 
and they also recognize that while we are going to be our anchor program, there's other things that are happening in this district that are equally as important. Growth mindset and, um, and mindfulness. So um, trying to craft the site that all staff can go to in our district to exchange resources and to receive resources that we expect them to be using. So we uh, had a parent volunteer uh, offer to help design um, the site for us. Oh, that's so, great. That's so, uh, so in order to uh, have the site created, though, we need to have an organization that we pay to actually build it. Mm -hmm. So it's our hope that we'll be able to show um, to our new staff at uh, kickoff this resource as it's being constructed. But it also will be uh, protected, so only our staff can access it. So we can adhere to copyright um, regulations, but we'll also have like a way for them to interact with each other on the site. That's great. Um, anything else? Yeah. Um, okay, I'm um, all in favor of 8.18. Eight point one nine. Be resolved that the Board of Education approves the proposal for legal services from Cuddy and Fetter LLP related to the subdivision of property at Buttonhook and Savina Roads, as presented to the Board at this meeting, and authorizes the Superintendent to execute this agreement. I move eight point one nine. Second. Any discussion? No, no. Do you want? Do you want well, to maybe say what this is? That yes, this is actually for our Sonder property. Right. And uh, in order to get a final approval from the planning board, uh, we are required to put together a HOA, this is the Homeowner Association uh, document, basically the bylaws and whatever else that is required. And uh, I, I checked with David Shaw, and his firm doesn't have the expertise to prepare something like this. Mm -hmm. uh, but but Cuddy and Fender is very uh, experienced in this. So, so this is the firm that. This uh, is necessary to. With the sale. We, we must yes. have, have that document. Okay. Mm -hmm. We have a for this, or we just We did not, but if you look at our purchasing uh, policy, any professional uh, service that is under forty thousand dollars, we do not have to go through the bidding or R I D process. Okay. Okay. And, and this one is um, within the cost is going to be restricted between uh, twelve thousand to fifteen thousand dollars. Thank you. All right, thanks, John. Mm -hmm. um, all in favor of 8.19? 8.20. 8.20, the that the Board of Education approves the adoption of the revive, revised special education district plan. I'll move 8.20. Second. I, I will second 8.20. Any discussion? Yes. Um, so, Christine, I just want to clarify what the purpose of the plan is. Um, it, it seems to be just a, sort of an outline of what the school is required to do. More than a sort of strategic, aspirational plan related to, to goals for the special ed. Right, so state this is more, more of a perfunctory. So we are required to have this document available for families to review that outlines the regulations that we are required to follow um, and present that information to a way that's accessible. The intent of this is not to be a strategic plan for our special education okay. program. That, that's why I want to clarify. Right. It's not that the intent is because it could be misconstrued as as that being the goal of the plan, and that's not really what it what it ends up being. So I just want to make clear. And I would, I would, yeah, we we said the exact same thing last year. So, um, I would is further this an annual. It's an annual requirement that needs to be approved. I would um, share that our philosophy has been, and we can shift this that. Our special ed program is under the umbrella of our strategic plan for the district. Okay. Right. So I, I, and I feel like that's an appropriate place for it to be, not as a sample. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? Uh, all in favor of 8.20? 8.20. 8.20. 
Aye. 8.21, be it resolved that the Board of Education approves uh, CCSD bid award. B209-15, fans for the cafeteria, and I just have to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> the recommended award, can we say it? Sure, it's in the Bible. It. It's in there, to big ass fans, in the amount of 39000 you got to love the name, $39,356.34. They better be big fans. <laughs> um, I move it. Okay. I second it. Any questions? I think we should uh, accept this bid from big ass fans. <laughs> yes. I feel like this is the first time you might have sworn at the board level. I have uh, but that is it's written. That's the name of the company. And so. your first, first meeting as president. Sure. <laughs> That's what it is. So. This is for the um, heat alleviation plan in the cafeteria. So as you remember, the air conditioning name has already been installed. So that these are the fans to accompany that in really so. Okay. They sound like they're really going to be powerful. They're going to be powerful. They're very serious fans. Very serious. I've seen them in the movies. They don't lie. They don't lie. They just lie. They don't lie. Thank you. And you said our meetings were more Um. So all in favor of item 8.21? Aye. Okay. Nine facilities. Uh, these are acknowledgement of change orders items 9.1 through 9.5, which can be taken together. These are all change orders that were approved um, by the superintendent um, regarding various improvements throughout the district, the um, high school and library projects, seven bridges, and yeah, I, I think that covers most of them. Um, so we just need to uh, make a motion to acknowledge the change order. I move that we acknowledge the superintendent's um, change orders. I second that. All in favor of acknowledging the change orders? Aye. Aye. Um, committee reports, item 10. Um, does anyone have any reports? Mm -hmm. Not today. Yeah, I don't no. think we do, given that we're reorganizing and mm -hmm. starting a year, so I would assume no. Um, we have no financials under item 11, that's nothing for today. And under um, item 12, organization, um, I'd like a motion for 12.1, which is an annual affirmation of all the policies previously adopted by the board. I will move item 12.1. I will second item 12.1. Any discussion? Yeah, as part of the policy committee, um, every year we look at those, but we, we, we're going to continue looking at the policies and see if we can. Stream on the meetings, and we're trying to try and make sure the line is consistent. Yeah, we've tried to do that over the years, but sometimes things take precedence mm -hmm. in the district, so we will continue, continue doing that. Trying to make it more consistent. Okay, terrific. Thank you. So um, I know we'll have a schedule coming out of when our policy meetings will be mm -hmm. uh, throughout the year, so I know that you guys will be working on that. Um, all in favor of item 12.1? Aye. Aye. And 13, notice of future meetings. Our next meeting will be Wednesday, August 7th, 2019, 7.30 p.m. at the Morris Burley High School Academic Commons. This is our tax warrant meeting. And then our following meeting will be Thursday, August 29th, 2019, 10.30 a.m. at Morris Burley High School Academic Commons. Although we did mention earlier that we are going to have a work session in between where it will be noticed. Mm -hmm. um, um, item 14, adjournment. Do I have a motion to adjourn tonight's meeting at 8.59 p.m.? I move that we adjourn the meeting at 20.59. Okay. And second. All in favor? Aye. Aye.